Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I was um, trying to put some things away, so I decided to go ahead and do my video in this room. Uh, my hair is a little poofy today. I did use that crimper again. This, this is the crimper I was talking about. I hope I didn't confuse you. This is the Bedhead Jumbo Crimper. And just a little FYI, if you guys get this crimper, it does have two, um, it does have two settings, high and low, and then it has this little lock mechanism, which I believe is to hold the curl while you're, while you're, instead of having to hold it with your hand, because that'll burn your hands. So, uh, yeah, just be careful with that crimper. I do like it, though, and, um, but I think I need to get some heat protectants. All right, anyway, the reason I brought that up is because I also got this, um, like a diffuser. I don't know if you guys remember these from like the 90s, but uh, they dry your hair basically in a curl so you can scrunch and dry. Haven't used it yet, but it does work. And I got this for, oh, I think the price fell off of it. Oh, here it is. Two, it looks like 252. So that's what I paid for this. Love that. And then I'm going to go through a couple of books that I got. Lots of kids books uh, just for my classroom. Big Pet Show, the uh, Berenstein Bears. I've got an Aladdin. Um, what is this? Board book. All right. Then I got um, patch, the Patchwork Quilt. I'm going to have a diverse classroom, so I'm really trying to get all kinds of uh, stories and books into my room. Um, then this is uh, Anno's USA. I love this book. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, but this is an artist. And this is um, nothing but graphic illustrations and no words whatsoever in this book. I thought it was fascinating. I've never heard of it. Picked it up and just fell in love with it. I thought it was a great little start to a composition you know how uh, emerging writers are always blank even seasoned and um, even, even seasoned writers suffer them Reason. to brainstorm and stuff so I just thought these would be great little prompts to uh, get the children to write a story about what they see in the picture never ever heard of this, uh, this again this is Anno's USA and I guess he's, um, I don't know if this is the type of work he does or if he's just an artist and put together some illustrations for a book. But I think it's fabulous and I'm really, really impressed with this book. I love it. And I thought it would make an awesome prompt for uh, writing workshops. All right, then I got The Funny Little Woman, another uh, uh, ethnic theme story. This is Asian. And... Then, um, this is Matematica. I have some bilingual students in my classroom as well. And I don't know if we'll need that, but um, maybe I can hone my mathematics and Spanish skills at the same time. All right, then I got Captain America. Got to keep those interests in order to, um, you know, generate some reading enthusiasm. And then I got the Maggie Suzanne coloring book. And I thought this was really interesting, too. Really pretty um, illustrations here. Okay, and then I got this huge collection of Curious George. So I believe it's got all of the um, series here in one big fat book. Isn't that great? Again, these were probably a dollar, dollar fifty. These were from uh, Nam. Some of these paperbacks were $75, $25. This is the store that I tell you is a little expensive. I need to go back to that other store that I, I think I mentioned to you that the hardbacks or the ha hardcovers were 25 cents each. And then she told me that the paperbacks were five for a dollar. So I definitely want to go back there. All right, I'll switch it up from books a little bit. Anyway, okay, this is a fabulous pot that I got for $3. And I look for pots and pans all the time. This is Cafalon believe yeah Cafalon and um, it's that heavy of a professional cookware and this was only three dollars guys and it's huge it's a heavy pot love it I'm always looking and it's not very worn either sometimes they're really scratched and rusted and whatnot but this one is in very good condition for three dollars and as you know this cookware this is probably seventy five dollars easy um, and I'm trying to get rid of some of my older stuff that I have 
and just replacing it with things that I find at the thrift store because I find better things at the thrift store than what I can afford in a department store. So, like, I mean, that's why we thrift, right? All right, then here is another book that I want to show you. Uh, this one is an English reference book, and this is a vintage book on um, grammar and um, just composition, but that's not the one I was really excited about. I was excited about this one. This one is a called Here in the Village of Eternity. And I heard about this book a couple of years ago, or maybe just last year. And what it is, it chronicles the lives of these uh, centurions, or these very um, interesting elderly folk that live in Italy. And uh, he talks about everything. I don't know who wrote it. I don't know if it's a woman or a man. Tracy. Tracy Lawson. Okay. Um, chronicles their lifestyle and comes to the conclusion that not only is it their their diet and whatnot, but more than anything, it's their lifestyle and how they really stop and smell the roses, so to speak. Uh, smell the basil for sure. And so he's got all kinds of things in here like uh, recipes and just tidbits and anecdotes about these uh, long living people in Italy and why it is such beautiful illustrations in here as well. So I'm definitely going to read this and um, and maybe sell it later or pass it on to one of my fellow uh, bibliophiles. All right, guys. Well, this is it. I'm going to leave it here for now. I still have a few more books to show you and a few more things uh, like those things back there. Actually, let me show you those now. These are fabulous. I love them. I found this. This is what I like to term serendipitous or thrift gods are always upon us because I bought I got this frame from my friend it's just a big long frame who's moving and I don't know why she got it or what but I was gonna put probably a pegboard or something to do jewelry in it is what I was thinking or a bulletin board but then I come upon this at the thrift store for uh, what was this this was marked twelve dollars but I believe I got it for four and it's still wrapped and sealed in um, plastic and it just says New York, New York, and it's got this, the little lady there, Statue of Liberty. So it fits absolutely perfect in here, and my husband has already configured a way to get that to stay. We're not going to bother with glass, and since I already got plastic on it, and this is going to go in my classroom. And I'm so excited about that, because as you know, the theme is world travel and whatnot. So then I also found this one for $10. Now this I got at Michael's. Took my daughter to Michael's so she could buy some crafty stuff that she likes to do. She's working on jewelry right now. And uh, so I found this, and this was on clearance for $10. It was regularly $40. And it's just got all of the famous um, landmarks of uh, France. I love it. Absolutely love it. And it's a stretch canvas. So pretty little print. And uh, basically they're the same size. So, wow, I'm super excited about that. I'm glad I showed you these so I can start putting them in their place and my husband can start working on them uh, to get it permanently mounted in here. Guys, again, I'm going to leave it here. <laughs> I thought I would go ahead so you could see them in the background there. And it was really good talking to you. I am so glad you joined me for another video. Please come back for another haul. I still have more books to show you and more stuff. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.